government now has really got to change the way uh, that it uh, looks at business. It's got to facilitate business. It's got to help uh, our country be able to uh, encourage startups and entrepreneurs to get their ideas off the ground instead of putting lots of political red tape uh, and boundaries in the way. That's where we've come from. Where we've got to go to now is government to be able to facilitate this. And to give you an example where this is already hurting us, here in Australia, we lose so many startups uh, and entrepreneurs over to the US uh, because there is a much better ecosystem there for incubating startups and encouraging ideas to get off the ground. And in, in America, I was talking to an entrepreneur recently. That they were saying that um, they were in a, a cafe in Silicon Valley, and there was this big meeting that was going on there. And somebody turned around and said to them, uh, do you know, here in America, it's a badge of honor to fail. It's a real badge of honor. If you failed seven or eight times there, it's, it's, it's a good thing to have. And people will come up and ask you the first time, how many times have you failed? Don't worry, you'll do it the next time. Here in Australia, we're not like that. Here, we have this tall poppy syndrome mm -hmm. uh, where we cut people off uh, when they start to come up with an idea. And if somebody fails, we publicly shame them for it. And we've got to change our mentality here in Australia. If we want to make this country as great in the future as what it has been in the past, and continue to evolve, we've got to start supporting people uh, with ideas and understand and expect them to fail sometimes and really help to nurture and support them as they go along that. Otherwise, we're going to continue to see what we've ha uh, seen in the past already, where businesses will quickly move over to the US and we'll lose that core talent that we do have here in Australia. Some amazing ideas that you have being nurtured here. If we don't have the infrastructure and communities to support them, they will simply run away.